Imagine a world where a robot that costs less than a used car can fold your laundry, stock shelves, or even help build a Mars colony. Sounds like sci-fi, right? But Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 is making it real, and it's closer than you think. Today, we're diving into how Tesla's pulling off a humanoid robot that could hit the market for $20,000 to $30,000, why that price tag could shake up economies, and whether these bots will transform our lives or just be fancy gadgets for the rich. Stick around to see how Tesla's manufacturing muscle and AI breakthroughs are rewriting the robotics rulebook, and why this might be the biggest product ever. This video is all about Tesla's Optimus Gen 3, a humanoid robot that's not just doing circus tricks but aiming to be as common as a mid-range sedan. We'll break down how Tesla's leveraging its car-making empire to slash costs, the jaw-dropping tech that lets Optimus catch tennis balls and thread needles, and what it means for a future where robots could outnumber humans. From factories to your kitchen, we're exploring why affordability matters and how close we are to robots becoming everyday helpers. If you're excited about tech that could change the world, hit that subscribe button to join Danny Nova and help us reach 1,000 subscribers for more deep dives like this. Let's start with the big picture, why does a $20,000 robot matter? Because a robot's usefulness depends on how many people can actually own one. An expensive showpiece is just a cool demo, but a $20,000 bot is a game changer. Tesla's betting that Optimus Gen 3, priced like a used Corolla, could become an economic force, not just a toy for elites. To get there, they're not reinventing the wheel, they're using the same supply chain that pumps out Model YS. The factories in Fremont, Shanghai, Berlin, Austin, and soon Mexico are already churning out batteries, sensors, and control boards for cars. Optimus just piggybacks on that. Every cost-saving trick, like a cheaper battery weld or a streamlined motor casting, gets passed down to the robot's price tag. It's not a standalone project, it's a cousin to Tesla's electric cars, built on the same production superhighway. Inside Optimus Gen 3, you've got a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack using Tesla's 4680 cells, which pack five times the energy density of the older 2170 format. This lets engineers tuck the power source into the robot's torso, not strap it on like a bulky backpack. That one chain shaved 22 pounds off the frame, bringing the total weight to 138 pounds. Lighter weight means smaller motors, less heat, and cheaper parts across the board, an efficiency snowball that keeps costs down. Compare that to a six-axis industrial robot arm which can cost $45,000 without even matching Optimus' range of motion, or Boston Dynamics Atlas, which still demands six-figure leases. Tesla's aiming for a million units a year, with a bill of materials around $10,000 per bot. That's automotive-level margins, not sci-fi fantasy. Now, let's talk about what this robot can actually do. Back in 2021, Tesla's first Optimus reveal was a guy in a robot suit dancing on stage, fun, but not exactly groundbreaking. Fast forward to May 2025, and Optimus Gen 3 is catching tennis balls mid-air, doing synchronized dance moves, and threading sewing needles. These aren't just stunts, they show a robot that's closing in on human-level dexterity. The star of the show is its new 22, degree, of, freedom hand, designed by Tesla's Milan Kovac. Each finger uses cables and tendons, like a human hand, with touch sensors that feel forces under one newton. That's precise enough to pick up an egg without cracking it or tighten a bolt on a battery line. In a November 2024 video, Optimus snagged a tennis ball moving at 40 km per hour in just 380 milliseconds. By May 2025, two bots were shuffling in sync, keeping their joints within one degree of the planned path, a level of precision usually seen in motion capture rigs, not freestanding robots. This leap comes from Tesla's AI, borrowed from its self-driving tech. Optimus uses eight global shutter cameras feeding a neural network on a chip built for autonomous cars. This setup creates a 3D map of the world 100 times a second, 
with commands sent to the motors in 23 milliseconds, half the lag of Gen 2. Forget old-school robotics where every joint is scripted, Optimus sees its environment and reacts like a human would. In a May 2025 clip, it folded t-shirts after watching 45 minutes of GoPro footage, cutting human training time by 70%. It's learning from raw video, not pre-programmed moves, which means it could eventually pick up any task just by watching YouTube. That's a huge deal for scaling up what robots can do without armies of coders. If you're loving this dive into the future of robotics, don't forget to subscribe to Danny Nova. We're on a mission to hit 1,000 subscribers, and your support keeps us going with more videos like this. Hit that button and join the crew. Let's zoom in on the tech that makes Optimus tick. Its frame weighs about 125 pounds, driven by 40 actuators and powered by that 2.3 kilowatt hour battery in its spine. It can work an 8 hour shift of mixed tasks or walk for 4.5 hours at 5 miles per hour. Power use is frugal, 100 watts at idle, 500 watts max when carrying 45 pounds. That's efficient enough to rival a human's energy cost for walking. The robot's pinch force jumped from 8 to 24 newtons, letting it handle delicate tasks like grabbing an egg or precise ones like bolting parts. Over 1,000 pick-and-play cycles, it drifts just 0.6 millimeters, on par with industrial arms that cost as much as the whole bot. When shoved with 15 kilograms of force, it recovers balance in 620 milliseconds, thanks to sensors in every limb feeding a reflex loop that mimics biological control. This isn't just about fancy hands or fast cameras. Tesla's ditched modular robotic software for a single neural network, like the brain of its self-driving cars. This monolithic policy learns tasks holistically, not as chopped up steps. In a May 2025 demo, Optimus cleared a table, swept crumbs, tore paper towels, stirred soup, and vacuumed, all from voice commands, no QR codes or guide paths. It grips a trash bag, adjusts for its flimsy material, and avoids hitting the bin's lid, all while balancing mid-step. Stirring soup, it tweaks its elbow motion based on the liquid's resistance. Vacuuming, it maps the room and adjusts its wrist to hit dust under tables. These tasks sound simple, but they demand real-time physics, balance, and decision-making, stuff that stumped robots for decades. Now, picture Optimus in the real world. Tesla's already got 1,000 bots a month rolling off a pilot line, with a second line aiming for 10,000 by late 2025. Musk's pushing for 5,000 fully built units by New Year's Eve, with parts for 50,000 more in 2026. By 2029, Tesla's forecasting a million bots a year, faster than the Model 3's ramp up. Companies are lining up, GXO wants 750 for warehouse work, German grocer will reserve 300 for shelf stocking, and a Thai hospital booked 120 for linen runs. At $20,000, these bots pay for themselves in under 14 months, sometimes as little as 10 weeks in high-wage areas. Tesla's leasing plan, $3,000 down, $2 per hour, makes it affordable for smaller firms, too. Inside Tesla's factories, Optimus is already welding and shuttling parts, acting as a walking billboard for what it can do. But it's not just about Earth. Musk's got Mars in his sights. In a May 2025 speech, he said Optimus will fly on an uncrewed starship in 2026, testing tasks like setting up solar panels and digging trenches. With a Kevlar skin and aerogel insulation, it's built to handle Mars cold and dust. A squad of 30 bots could prep a landing pad and power station in 90 Martian days, speeding up human missions. This isn't just a robot, it's a step toward colonizing another planet. Why should you care? Because Optimus Gen 3 isn't a lab experiment, it's a glimpse of a future where robots don't just dance but take over the boring, dangerous, or repetitive stuff we hate. At $20,000, it's not a rich person's toy, it's a tool that could reshape jobs, homes, and even space exploration.
Tesla's AI lets it learn like a human, watching videos and adapting on the fly. Its hands rival ours in precision, and its brain, built on Tesla's self-driving tech, makes it act less like a machine and more like a partner. But there's a flip side, will these bots steal jobs or become creepy overlords? Or will they free us to focus on what makes us human? That's the debate, and it's heating up. So, what's next? Tesla's pushing for mass production in 2026, with prices between $20,000 and $30,000. Musk claims by 2040, robots could outnumber humans, handling everything from cooking to caregiving. That's bold, but looking at Optimus now, barely three years from a clunky prototype to a bot that can vacuum and talk, it's not impossible. The question isn't just, can Tesla do it? It's, what happens to us when they do? Will you have an Optimus in your kitchen in three years? Five? Never. Drop your thoughts in the comments, what task would you teach it first? Thanks for watching Danny Nova. If you love this deep dive into Optimus, smash that like button and share this video. We're chasing 1000 subscribers, so hit subscribe and turn on notifications to catch every update on Tesla, AI, and the tech shaping our future. Your support keeps us going, so let's hit that goal together. See you in the next video, bye.